All right, today I am going to try to show everybody how to get the most important aspect of their WirePod server set up. So I know everybody is interested in this. Everybody wants to get ChatGPT working on their little vector. So I'm running a WirePod server on my Raspberry Pi, and I'm gonna show you how to get ChatGPT set up on the WirePod server. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to the uh, correct IP address on your home network that you have WirePod or Escape Pod running on. That will bring you to this main screen. This is where you will go to the server settings. It should look like this. You'll see like the weather, the knowledge graph, set language. What we want to go to is the knowledge graph. That will pop up this little window with a little drop down arrow right here. You drop down the arrow, click open AI. That will now ask you for your knowledge graph API key. What you need to do there is go to this web address right here. If my phone will, uh, there we go. Platform.openai.com and it will just basically be uh, slash docs slash overview. If you don't already have an OpenAI account, you basically just have to sign up with any Gmail or any email account, get yourself an account, and then you wanna go over here to the sidebar, just hover your mouse over the side, that will allow these pop-ups to come up. You click on API keys, that will pop up this window right here. You want to create a new secret key, and then you will go to this little window that pops up and go create secret key. Then you'll want to grab that, copy it, copy that key, go back over to your wire pod setup, and you'll want to paste that API key right here in the knowledge graph API key slot. Then when you scroll down a little bit, I always click yes here. This allows uh, chat GPT uh, to answer and then you can also give your robot a name. I'm gonna name it uh, Robert. Then you just click, whoops, I can't spell. Uh, then you just click save. And it should say changes successfully applied. Now you have ChatGPT running on your WirePod server. Well, it's actually running here on the WirePod server and your vector should now answer through ChatGPT uh, after you get the full final setup set up. This vector is still in the process of being set up. So I still have to get that set up. But yes, this is how you set up ChatGPT. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, if you could drop a like, a comment, a subscribe, it would really help the channel and uh, it really helps me continue to make videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching.